she claims that the accident was so forceful that it threw her around the passenger cabinet and caused her to suffer permanent back and shoulder injuries. The focus of her case is on her low back and on her left shoulder. And so when they get their opening, it sounds like this is all a continuous sequence of events, like it's been consistent complaints from the time of the accident all the way to several years later. But when we look at the details of what she's reporting to various doctors at various times and when she's going and you compare records, it doesn't make sense. And it's important to keep in mind that it's a, it's a minor parking lot accident. And it, not every accident, but this accident doesn't create any more force than is exerted on her body during her activities of daily living, like standing up and sitting down. Standing up and sitting down causes more force on her body than any of the forces generated in this accident. So the accident happened in the Walmart parking lot. It was October 9, 2016. The accident happened about 3.30 in the morning and she had no complaints of injury at the scene. There was no airbag deployment. It was too minor for anything like that. She doesn't go by ambulance to the ER. She goes to the ER the following day on October 10th, but what's important to note about that is she goes towards the end of the day of the 10th, and because this only happened three hours into October 9th, by the time she goes to the ER, it's actually like almost 36, 38 hours after the accident. And her only complaint at the ER is her neck and it says left shoulder and they do a left shoulder x-ray, but there's no mention of the back. So it's like 36, 38 hours after the accident and the back injury that she's now saying uh, is permanent and so significant that she had to go to over 100 doctor's visits isn't even there when she goes to the ER 36, 38 hours after the accident. 